time. It is Wednesday. Oh, we've got tons of people watching already. That's great. Um, hello, this is the draw of the September competition because it is the last day of September, September the 30th. So for anybody who doesn't know, who's watching this for the first time, every month on Wild Ginger Running, there is a competition um, worth four, not thousand, 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's in the September competition and we're going to draw the winner and then uh, there's going to be a first prize and a second prize and a third prize and then I'm going to tell you some cool stuff about the channel um, and then I'm going to tell you what's in the October competition. Um, so yeah, apologies if I get anything wrong today. I'm feeling a bit sick and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm now approaching the third trimester of the pregnancy. Maybe it's that. Or it could be, because yesterday I had a bowl of cereal and then I left the bowl out um, and there was a bit of soy milk in the bottom. And then at about four o'clock, I was a bit peckish before running club and I had some more cereal in that same bowl of cereal because I was like, waste not, want not, David Attenborough says. So I don't know if that soy milk during the course of the day had gone a bit off. But anyway, I feel a little bit sick. So sorry <laughs> if I get anything wrong or forget to draw the second and third prize winners, which I usually do. So let's just say some hellos to people who are watching. So we've got uh, Alex DeHoto says hello. Well, that's very exciting for you, Alex. <laughs> hello to you. Um, Kev JH says howdy. More cool there with Kev there. Um, Joe Woodley is here. He says, "Hey everyone, keeping everything crossed to be a winner today." Oh, I'll I'll put it on my to do list, Joe. Uh, then we've got Peter Hunt who says, "Good luck to everybody." Uh, John Airy says, "Oh, please can we see the bump?" Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'll stand up and I'll see if you can see it a little bit. It's not very big at the moment. It's like that big. So yeah, it's it's like if you didn't know me, you, you just think I was a bit fat. <laughs> it's quite a small one. Everyone says it's a bit small. Um, fine by me. Um, hopefully it will come out small as well, so it won't be too painful. Um, but yeah, uh, I am twenty four weeks pregnant now. So um, yeah, all going well apart from I just need the loop all the time when I run. Um, so like last night I was leading the AA group last night and we stopped outside the Danish Invader which is a pub in Stamford um, and I was like oh I really need the loo and they were all like go go we'll wait for you so I think I'm going to plan all the routes around the pub from now on. Anyway back to the hellos. Mark England says hi everyone. Robin Townsend says hello. The Flexi Vegan says hey everyone. Masood Kalali is here as well. Oh this is great. Um, it's really nice to see some different people on the live because usually on the Wednesday night and um, there's a different kind of crowd of people. Um, Kev JH is advising me to have some ginger in some milk. Yeah I did have a, uh, a ginger tea just here just now so um, hopefully that will make me feel a bit better. Um, and doing this has taken my mind off it, so that's good as well. Ricky Wilson is here, he says hello. Uh, Bram Van Diemen is here, hey Bram, nice to see you. Snoot66 is here, hello. If that's a Mark Snoot Holmes, then I think you won last last um, month, didn't you? Um, so I hope all your prizes have been uh, arriving. Let me know if they haven't, because uh, COVID has been delaying some stuff. Um, Brad says, oh my goodness, it's 4.30 a.m. for Brad on the West Coast of Canada this morning. Nice to see you there. Richard Howard has his fingers crossed and um, uh, move more now. James Nielsen says good luck and congrats on the pregnancy. Why thank you. Um, Catherine says just munching lunch whilst watching good luck everybody. Yes now is a good time to do a broadcast isn't it because everybody's just on lunch. I'll be as quick as I can. Okay that running guy says hey with his hand and Kurt Steed is here. Hey Kurt woohoo. I hope you can keep tuning in. Um, he's very busy with his work. Matt Hughes says hi and Mr. Whippet is on his lunch as well and he says hi everyone. Okay, so right, what you all want to know is what is, oh Gaviscon should be a new sponsor. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm trying not to drink too much of it though because um, it's very tasty, isn't it? But I'm trying not to drink too much because I just watched Extinction um, with David Attenborough and he says try not to waste anything. So I'm just trying not to eat anything basically. <laughs> not too much, but... Anyway, so in the competition this month, we have, as usual, the Silver Cross Trail 5 Ultra. Oh, and to enter the competition, I forgot to say, you have to be a patron. The patron is 
just here and it's www.patreon.com slash wildgingerrunning. So if you're a patron, whatever level you're at, you all get chucked in to the hat, to the competition hat, and I draw from the patrons every month. So you've got to be a patron, you've got to support the channel to be in with a chance to win all these fantastic prizes. So fantastic prizes for September are Silver Cross Trail 5 Ultra, Super Duper Bright Head Torch. Woohoo! Um, absolutely fantastic. I, I am this Monday, watch out for a review this Monday on Silver's next head torch the trail runner free h i'm reviewing that um it's made they've made some significant improvements so it's really exciting so watch out for that film on monday then we've got active root gel mix um and they've uh, sent 65 quid's worth of stuff basically oh the silver's worth um 155 pounds uh so there's there's from um active root there's a t-shirt there's a snood which is a buff thing um, and there's a six pack of the little sachets of hydration um, and it's all um, got based on ginger there's like peppermint flavor green tea flavor it's very very delicious and then this gel thing it's to avoid more packaging so you just get a big pot of the gel powder and then you make it up to the consistency that you want in a little flask so um, a bit more eco-friendly a um, bit more kind of long-lasting use there um, which is to be commended in all things um, I'm gonna um, go by the the um, the the thing the hashtag what would David Attenborough do from now on, um, just so you all know. Okay, so then we've got the arm um, halo jacket worth one hundred and twenty five pounds. There it is in the corner. Um, you don't have to have the green one. There is, I think, a purple one. There's women's, there's men's. Um, it's a very lightweight jacket. It's around hundred grams. My one's like just under hundred grams. My size twelve, um, and I really recommend it for um, uh, those days where you just don't know if it's going to rain or not, and you just want a really squishable waterproof jacket. Also, you get the halo pants to go with that. You do not have to have the blue and green pant there. I just chose it because it was really bright colours for this broadcast. <laughs> um, there is also a grey version. Um, they are worth £80 and they're super lightweight, super packable, waterproof pants. Um, great for races. So, um, that that all comes to £425 this month. So that's cool, isn't it? Um, and then we've got a second and third prize as well. So I'll pop them up as well. We have got a uh, Morton Nutrition Bundle again, and that's worth £60 this month. There we go. And we've got, oh, this was good because we spoke to him just the other week on the live chat. We've got Shane Benzie's book, The Lost Art of Running. So this is Shane Benzie's book all about um, his travels to Ethiopia, Kenya, running with um, indigenous tribes people and people who don't wear shoes all the time and um, finding uh, little gems and nuggets of technique that he can bring back to us uh, clumpy shoe shod Westerners um, over here with our sedentary lifestyles. So amazing book. Do um, do get it. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to it uh, in the film description below. Okie dokie, we'll just see if anybody's been writing anything that I should read out now. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so Mark says he's got everything from his prize from last month, um, but the chocolate. Okay, I'll oh, chase Carol. Um, I'll just write that down here. Carol, uh, so Mark won some chocolate from 80 Ultra Noir. Um, she's just won an award, so maybe she's just all like pinging backwards and forwards from that. So maybe that is why. Um, Gordon Parton is here. He says, good luck, everybody. Um, that running guy is currently out walking the dog. Oh, you're listening on the move. Excellent. Um, and then Bram <laughs> Van Diemen says, AA group and pub. Uh, yes, a the AA group is not Alcoholics Anonymous <laughs> on the um, uh, no, it was just the, there's an A group, which is the slow group, and then to get everybody back into running, because there's been no beginners course over the summer, I volunteered myself to take the AA group, which is not an alcoholic group, but just a group of less confident runners that are capable of A pace and distance, but they just think they can't. So we're kind of building them up over the next five weeks to be an A group. So um, yeah, we stopped at the pub for the loo. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> um, oh, and Gordon's ordered my book. Oh yeah, I'll tell you about my book in a minute. Hannah's here. Hello, Hannah. How are you? Um, Sharon Houston is here as well. Hello, Sharon. Uh, Chloe is here as well. Oh, I just commented on your Facebook thing, Chloe. Um, 
Clary's been doing some amazing running of late. Uh, I think you just did the hard moors, yes. Uh, like tons of mileage so yeah loads of cool stuff happening with all the patrons uh, Kurt says hmm the chocolate is missing did it wind up at Claire's mm, yeah I told Carol not to send me the chocolate <laughs> because I was like no I will that will not get out to the patrons I'm sorry um so Robin says she's prepping for an algebra exam oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> wow, I have not done algebra since probably being like 15 years old. And I for one am glad. <laughs> it's quite fun though, algebra, isn't it? I didn't really understand differentiation on, on all that dy by dx business. I didn't understand all that. Like I could do it, but I just didn't know why you'd want to. Anyway, right, let's um let's see who's won, shall we? I've got all the names in a computer thing we bub that scrolls around. So, let's press the button to say go. Ah, nervous. Did you hear the bing? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, amazing. This is excellent. Okay, so the winner of um, these goodies, the silver head torch, the arm stuff, and the gel stuff for £425 is Philip Haddock. Woo! So I don't know if he's watching, but let's not tell him. Let's just say well done to the winner, um, as we usually do, so that he has to watch this whole thing, right? And then he gets the same build up and everything. So no one tell Philip that he's won. Um, fab, 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 fab. And guess what? I've remembered that there's a second and a third prize. So let's see who has won the Morton Nutrition Bundle worth a £60. Okay, let me just... Boop, just makes a funny noise. <laughs> okay, dun 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 dun. Oh, feel free to dance along at home, everybody. Dun 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 dun. If anybody's an Eddie Izzard fan, they will know this tune. <laughs> okay, so the nutrition bundle. Oh, this is exciting. Um, uh, all the way from the USA. So um, Morton are going to have to send us to the USA. Conrad Anderson has won the Morton nutrition bundle worth £60. Yay! So Conrad... Oh, I think he's like one of my first ever subscribers on Patreon. I think he's like the second person, perhaps even, um, to subscribe. So amazing that he's won something, finally. <laughs> he's finally got his money's worth. Thank you, Conrad, for being such a great supporter. Okay, so yeah, we won't tell him either. Don't tell, don't tell, don't tell. Um, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> oh, you're all being so nice. You're all saying well done to the winners. I'd be like, damn it didn't win ah, ah. Um, but don't worry if you didn't win something because this christmas i always send my patrons a little gift so everybody will get something this christmas it will just be a small thing but it'll just be like a little token i'm going to post something to everybody so um so yeah keep your eyes peeled for the post um in december okay so last prize is the lost art of running book by shane benzi which um i think i have it I can't find, I'm sure he sent it me. I don't know where it's gone, uh, but I need to read it because it sounds brilliant. And we spoke to Shane, Google Wild Ginger Running Shane Benzie and his live chat will come up and probably his other video as well with the technique in. Um, and I'm hoping to meet up with him as well if we can in November just to do some uphill technique. Um, and also to just discuss like uh, if there's any special technique that you should use when you're pregnant and running because as far as I know he says he doesn't know of any research into that and I just thought hmm, maybe I could make things easier for myself by running a certain way anyway so number three uh, lost art of running book by Shane Benzie boom here we go Pow! E oh my goodness, another person in America. Oh, gone for the USA today. Uh, it's totally random. Um, it's John Gardner, who is actually the first ever patron. I'm sure he is. A, I'm sure it was a quiz question that someone came up with. I think Guy put together some quiz questions back in lockdown times, and John Gardner. Um, uh, it was one of the questions was who was Claire's first ever patron and it is John Gardner all the way from the USA so I will be messaging Shane and telling him he's got to post this book to you all the way in the uh, all the way over to the USA there John um, so um, I hope you enjoy that book because it sounds amazing so congratulations to Philip 
to Conrad and to John for winning uh, the World Ginger Running Competition Prize. Um, so now I'm just going to tell you a few things about the channel and stuff that's happening in general and then I shall tell you what is in the October competition and I shall try to keep it like less than 30 minutes because no one wants to watch 30 minutes of not winning a prize do they so uh next thing i need to tell you about is oh, i need to get rid of all these things get rid get rid get rid i need to talk to you about the training camp because i'm running a training camp so basically covid just like kiboshed everything right and we had to cancel the training camp we've just basically moved it to april um this coming year 2021 16th to the 18th of april and um, i'm just going to show you a picture of um how fun it's going to be basically it's going to be in the peak district yay so it's going to be there and it's going to be super fun <laughs> because we've got training from ace coach dave taylor um, we're staying in um, a white a and it's everything like uh, a full board like full food like pat lunch breakfast dinner snacks um, you never know I might bake something um, and um, yeah and accommodation all that's covered and there's four runs in the beautiful Peak District and um, there'll be poles for you to try from Blecky. There'll be silver head torches for you to try on a night run. There will be um, navigation, basic navigation um, uh, coaching. There'll be stretching. There'll be strength work. Um, there'll be um, uphill technique, downhill technique. Basically everything you need to know as a beginner or an improving trail runner, like beginner to intermediate, then you need this course, okay? So it's gonna be from Friday to Sunday, so um, two nights, um, and all the food is provided. So um, it's, uh, I will be there. Um, I will have, hopefully, fingers crossed, a like four month old baby. So I will be dipping in and out and um, making sure everything's going okay whilst Dave coaches you and um, yeah, and filming <laughs> and, uh, and and handing the baby to Steve to do bits of filming and maybe go on, even on a little run with you guys. So um, really looking forward to that. Um, probably be the first time I've been out <laughs> for like months. So really looking forward to that. Um, so please join me and the, oh, you probably need the address, don't you? The training camp. Just go on my website. It's wildgingerrunning.co.uk slash training camp. I'm doing it with tracks and trails. I thought it'd be good to do it with some people rather than just make it up myself because um, um, when stuff like COVID happens, that's very helpful because they take care of all that side of thing for you. So do sign up, um, do have a look and um, and come. It would be great to meet you. Oh, there'll be talks on nutrition as well. I'm, I'm trying to get Anita Bean to come, but I think it's the same weekend as the marathon, London Marathon. And I think her husband's doing the London Marathon and she might be talking there. So I'm trying to get her to come, but uh, we'll do something around nutrition anyway. So there'll be something for everybody. Yay! Oh, there's, there's an, also a date in October. If you can't make the April one, if you can't do the 16th to the 18th of April, there's a date in October, which I have actually forgotten um, what it is. It's it's in my diary. Let's just have a quick look. <laughs> it is... Uh, oh, it's not in my diary. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I think it's like... I think it might be the 6th or 7th. 5th to the 7th, or it might be the 12th to the 14th. Anyway, go online, have a look. <laughs> online knows more than me. So go online, there you go, wildgingerrunning.co.uk slash training camp. And in every film I put out, there's a little thing at the end in the film description, and that always has the link there as well. So um, I'll, this, it'll be in this one too. Okay, right. Uh, oh, let's just read out a couple of things. Um... Uh, Robin Townsend says, I still want to come on the training camp. We'll have to try and book it at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, book it now, Robin. It'll be really, really fun. And Kurt says, I should get a, a, bu a buggy. Uh, <laughs> guy is here. Hey, Guy. I'm going to be chatting to Guy on Friday. Woohoo. That's awesome. And, um, oh, we have uh, Pyle and Jane from Bangkok watching. Awesome. Um, and John Airy says, no, it won't clash with the London Marathon. It's moved to October 2021. Okay, I'll get on to Anita Bean and tell her to come to my training camp as a priority. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, virtual London Marathon is on the 4th of October. Yes, I know because I have um, lent some runners in my club some stuff for it. Um, yes, we'll all watch the London Marathon this weekend, I'm sure. Yeah. 
I'm gonna see what it's like. Yes, anyway, so buffs. Um, oh, I've done it again, I've forgotten to get a buff out. So buffs. So why did your running buffs look like this? So this is what you get if you are a $10 patron and you are loyal to Wild Ginger Running for three months. So um, it's a buff and buff make the best buffs basically. You can get buffs from like everywhere, like headbutt. They call them buffs, rags, blah, blah, blah. Um, but these are the best ones. And I teamed up with buff and Om because they're owned by the same company. And um, we all got our logo on there um, basically so that I could have these for you guys um, to send you. So um, anybody who's uh, sponsored to be on Patreon at the $10 level for three months we'll get one of these woo um, so thank you very much if you have done that and people who have done that and are going to be getting one later this well next week probably when I post them Kurt Steege is going to get one he is watching now so hope you're paying attention Kurt um, Duncan Reed is going to get one as well and Becky McCoy is going to get one as well so um, they all signed up uh, in July so now they are due one of these so they'll be winging their way to you if you want to become a patron the address is here um, and the last thing that I need to talk to you about is um, it's just like, oh, it's me, me, me. Right, is my book. I've made a book, everyone. Look, I've made a book. Um, I love that cover picture, don't you? Andy McCandlish took that when I was on Trail Running Magazine. Um, and the people in the picture, there's Ryan Scott and then there's Susie Ramford. And Susie's actually written a trail running guide to Scotland. If you Google um, Susie Ramford, um, trail running Scotland, there, there's tons of routes in Scotland there in her book. So um, that's really awesome. But we just had this fantastic sunset and that's looking over Loch Lomond from Connick Hill. Um, absolutely beautiful place to run if you ever get the chance to go up that way. Um, and these guys were so good, like, because it was such a nice sunset. We basically made them run up this hill about 50 times whilst Andy took photos photo after photo to get you know because two runners like everyone's legs have to be in the right place so anyway that's just the story behind the cover you heard it here first but anyway the book is for sale and it's a pretty long um address but if you just google bloomsbury claire maxted or bloomsbury ultimate trail running book or just bloomsbury trail running in general basically then you'll come to the bloomsbury page it's also on on sale at wh smith it's probably on sale on amazon but i haven't checked but I think it definitely will be. Um, but at the moment it's definitely on sale via Bloomsbury to pre-order because it's coming out on the 21st of January, which is four days after my baby is due. So I'm giving birth to two items beginning with B in January. And I did joke earlier on the Patreon Facebook group that it was twins, but no, don't start any rumours that I'm actually having twins. I just mean that there's a baby and a book at the same time. So um, yeah, the, I really enjoyed writing the book because basically it's a giant trail running magazine. I've been writing, I was the editor of trail running magazine for seven years. And um, basically after seven years, I just felt like I was repeating myself over and over again with the same advice. So it's been absolutely fantastic to be able to just put it all all in a book like it's all in one place now and if there's any questions that anyone's ever got look in the book it's uh, full of everything that you ever need to know apart from um, how to do aid stations which is a question that Adrian Camilleri has just been asking in the patrons group so I will be covering that in a future Q&A and uh, maybe that can be in the second edition of the book um, cool uh, and um, so yeah, basically buy the book and next time I see you, I, like if the national running show still goes ahead at the end of February, I'm planning to be there. If it's not unsafe for me and a newborn baby to be there, I don't know what the COVID situation can be like at that point. Um, so I am planning to be there. So if you want to buy a book for them and then bring it, I can sign it there. Um, they will be selling the books there as well, I presume, because they have a stand. Um, otherwise, very happy to sign anybody's book at a meetup at any point. Um, or you could just, or I could just post you a little like, or email, or like I could photograph you and email you a, like a signature. So yeah, we'll get around it. So. Um, we have got a patron meetup as well um, in November, which um, 
towards the end of November. So if you're in the Patreon group, that will be on the Patreon website and on the Patreon Facebook as well. Um, that's planned for the Peak District as well. Um, so we'll just have to hope, fingers crossed, that COVID doesn't just re-emerge and put a kibosh on that. Might be a, a numbers thing anyway. So we'll have a, we'll just think about it near the time, huh? Yeah. Oh, KevJH says it's on Amazon. Catherine says definitely getting a copy. Yay! And Kindle and book. Yeah. I want to do an audio book as well because that would be cool, wouldn't it? I'd do it in like chapter after chapter. Fab. Okay, so get the book. Um, even if you think you know everything, get it anyway because there's just some beautiful pictures in there and um, it will just look good on your coffee table. Okay. Um cool so what is in the next competition let me tell you what is in the october competition so 400 pounds worth of prizes to be won so we have the silver cross trail ultra silver cross trail 5 ultra at 155 pounds super bright head torch from one of the best head torch companies i'm gonna say i'm just gonna put that out there one of the best head torch companies i think like having just tested the trail runner free h pretty darn good so yes that is um part of the prize then we've got the morton gift box where worth 60 pounds so um that's uh, morton is really lovely stuff because it doesn't taste too sweet it's also very expensive so there is a code for all patrons oh no it's there no there's codes for other stuff i don't know if morton allowed me to have a code anyway so you can you can possibly win this um yeah, forget I said about code. <laughs> it's a premium product, guys. Um, but there's codes for other sorts of nutrition on the in the patrons area of the website. Just scroll down on the homepage, and then you'll see a patrons area. Pop your pop, pop your patron email address in there, and it will let you in. If it doesn't, message me, and I'll I'll give it what for. Anyway, so next prize is a Camelback Nano, which is worth ninety pounds. Woohoo! Um, so that is a hydration vest from Camelback there. My current favorite hydration vest from Camelback is the Ultra Pro 7 liters. So this Nano is just a smaller version of that. So I can imagine it's gonna be super ace. Um, and then we've got, like it's a bit running pack-tastic at the moment. We've got a Harrier bundle, which is worth 85 pounds. Like, can you believe it? Like this backpack from Camelback is 90 pounds. And then this what this whole bundle from Harrier is 85 pounds. That's because Harrier packs are such good value. So there's a pack there, there's an eco bottle, there's a, a, a little first aid kit, there's a couple of bottles with straws, there's a buff, there's a survival blanket and a first aid kit. So everything that you could possibly want to start trail running apart from the shoes and the clothes is in that bundle. So that is up for grabs in the October competition. And the last item is a, this is a really interesting project. This is a Giza beanie. So this is um, from uh, the Barclay Marathons and um, basically Laz always wears this Giza, Giza beanie. Oh, why won't it go right? There we go. Um, Laz always wears this Giza beanie um, it, when he's cold, presumably. Um, so let's just switch to a picture of Laz wearing this beanie. There he is, up here. There he is with his Giza beanie on. So they, these, this company have decided to make some Giza beanies for us to have. And look, I've got one here. Uh, so I put it on. I put it on. Um, Oh, I look like an elf. <laughs> Giza. There we go. Um, so it's £15 and they do eco-friendly posting. So it's biodegradable postage wrapping stuff. And every pound from one of these hats worth £15 goes to the homeless charity, which is called A Mile in Her Shoes. So it's an eco-friendly and uh, ethically conscious company. So um, check them out. Just type in Giza Barclay Marathon Beanie and um, it will come up with their website. Um and then the second and the third prize, um, oh damn it, I have forgotten to get a picture of the mountain fuel stuff, but we've got the Active, Ru Active Root um, Gel again. Uh, we've got um, 20 pounds worth of Active Root Gel Mix um, as the second prize. And then um, we've got some mountain fuel 
goodies. Um, so I'm just going to Google Mountain Fuel because otherwise that's a bit unfair to them to not put them in. And Mountain Fuel have a new, and I'm not allowed to tell you yet because the guy has not... Um, the guy has not given me the okay, but they are doing something new and exciting with their gels um, for the foreseeable. So um, just watch the space and you will be getting one of them hopefully in your prize. Um, but they basically, they do amazing gels, flapjacks and um, energy, um, sachets of energy stuff and um, energy powder, recovery powder, da, da 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 This is their sports jelly. So just showing you the gels there, but they have put in 15 pounds worth of prize um, and that is gonna run till Christmas, woohoo. Um, oh no, I can't get those things. Okay, let's just move everything around. So it looks good, doesn't it, this haul? It's um, really nice set of prizes there. Thank you to everybody who has sent in those prizes. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, oh, where can I put this one? <laughs> I should have done this before the broadcast, maybe. Okay, that looks kind of okay, doesn't it? Can you still see me? Um, cool, okay, so those are all the prizes for October. So tune in at the end of October to see who has won all of these amazing prizes. Um, and let me just see if anybody has um, said any more things. Um, la 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 la. And uh, Catherine says she could definitely recommend the Harrier bundle. And the a guy says the new Harrier vest is amazing. He loves his. Um, Bran Van Diemen says, should I contact them to try some in the Netherlands? Um, mm, do you mean Harrier? Yes, they definitely ship to everywhere. So yeah, you could definitely try that in the Netherlands um, or any of these brands, I'm sure you can get there. And the, everybody is saying the Harrier bundles are completely amazing. So yeah, really nice of Kate, the owner of the company to supply a Harrier bundle. And Sneak preview, you heard it here first. There's gonna be a different Harrier bundle for the next couple of months um, on the on um, in the prizes. So um, there's more to win, more up for grabs from Harrier in the future. Cool, okay, so if you want a chance to win any of these prizes, you've got to support me on Patreon. So it's www.patreon.com slash wildgingerrunning. So um, anything from $5 upwards and you'll automatically be entered into this competition. So do it, do it. There's only like 150 patrons. There's much more chance of winning this than the lottery. And if you're a patron in December, I will give you a Christmas present in the post. So everybody, no one goes home empty handed as good old Bruce Forsyth would say. Okay, so um, remember everyone that tonight is not the live broadcast as usual because Sabrina can't do a Wednesday. We are chatting to Sabrina Vergy about her Pennine Way FKT at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow. So that's Thursday, the 1st of October. It will then be a podcast for you to listen to on your runs by the weekend. Um, you're welcome. So um, yeah, tune in tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Um, to chat to Sabs about her Pennine Way FKT. And um, thank you very much for watching everybody and thank you for being awesome about the winners of the competition. You're so nice to each other. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everybody's saying congratulations to the winners. I've forgotten who they are now. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to email a load of people to get those prizes out to those winners. So um, thank you very much for watching everybody. Tune in tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. to watch me chat to Sabrina and hear all about her Pan Way FKT. And um, I will leave you to this drizzly Wednesday. I'm going for a run at about four today. So fingers crossed it might be a bit sunnier. Okay, I will see you all soon. Bye.